We've all seen health events before, but not like this. This wasn't a lecture, a brochure, or another one of those health expos in a giant ballroom. This was Pulso, the code of care, a one-of-a-kind experience we created with AARP, part museum, part lab, part memory. We brought together people from different walks of life, from lifelong learners to first-time caregivers, from tech lovers to abuelitas who just wanted to see what this was all about. Some got on a school bus for the first time in years, others got their hands on a scalpel for the very first time. But everyone showed up with curiosity. Everyone left with something to say. In a world moving fast, we carved out a moment to slow down, explore new tools, and ask better questions about our health, our future, and how we can care for those we love. Le tuvimos que pensar un poquito para ver cómo la voz de Tech 23 y AARP se podían combinar en una, porque AARP normalmente sirve en el mercado de 50 años para arriba y la comunidad de nosotros tiende a ser una un poquito más joven que está trabajando en la industria de tech. El mercado que nosotros servimos es el que le gusta la tecnología y, y la innovación y ese es el mercado que ellos necesitan darle recursos para que mejor puedan cuidar a, a sus papás, a sus tíos, sus abuelitos. De allí nació la combinación entre ARP y Tech23. We're super excited that this all came together really from conversations around what caregiving is and how it impacts our parents. You know, we were sitting together just brainstorming about what is the technology that has helped us as we were caring for a loved one and what were some of the conversations that we had around the dinner table because that is the responsibility we take very serious is caring for our parents, caring for our grandparents. We don't even think of it as we're caregivers. We just something we do because we love our family and it's ingrained in our culture. ARP knows that we have to train our older adults with technology. We did it during the pandemic when we had to train everyone to use Zoom. And that was just the beginning, right? We have to make sure they're all caught up in that we as caregivers know what's out there to make our job a little bit easier. The younger generations, the people that were in the audience today, are the ones that, again, are caring. But we have to remember as Latinos, we don't have to do it alone. There's organizations like Tech23, like AARP Texas, and many others that are paving the way to make it much easier for all of us. I think this is just the beginning of a great relationship that will continue to just feature more and more technology as our demographics evolve. Soy Carla Murillo. Estoy fascinada con esta experiencia que Tech 23 nos está dando la oportunidad de hacer algo que mi vida hubiera pensado hacerlo, eh, conocer y poder hacer incisiones en un corazón de un animal, pero que es muy similar al ser humano. Me ha fascinado la experiencia y de verdad yo volvería a estar aquí, volvería a venir a estos lugares para ver que la naturaleza, Dios y la vida humana es un milagro pero también los médicos y los cardiólogos y todas las personas que están dentro del área de salud son fascinantes, son profesiones maravillosas y agradezco a todos por darnos esta oportunidad. My name is Eddie Oram and I'm actually retired, but I'm working uh, as a volunteer with uh, AARP. I'm on their Texas Executive Council and I'm also a caregiver, which helps me to want to be here and to pick up some of the tools that you guys taught today. I definitely picked up the fact that ARP can work more with um, young adolescents because so many young adolescents are being taken care of by their grandparents, which means they're going to be a caregiver much sooner than I became a caregiver. I was 65 when it began to happen with me. I know some people who are 15 and it's beginning to happen with them. It, um, most people think ARP is like for the 50 plus generation, and we are. And we want to make sure that our, our older members age in the way that they choose to age. But it's so good to see a younger generation coming through, learning about caregiving, because you're the future. And one of the things I also picked up today is that if we begin this kind of learning process and sharing this type of information now, by the time you're a senior or my age, you've also cut out so many problems. You're learning mental health. You're learning how to keep yourself healthy. You're learning physical information. So what you guys are doing is something that we need to make sure everybody does. If you haven't taken a science field trip lately, here's what we saw in ours. First up, Zibrio's Balance Tech. 
When astronauts come back from space, they're wobbly, like really wobbly. Months without gravity means that their leg muscles weaken, their posture shifts, and their balance is gone. So NASA built a tool to measure just how off balance astronauts were after returning to Earth. Y ahora, it's telling your tía if she's about to fall in the shower. This is Zibrio, a smart health tech born in NASA. We gathered a group of our friends at Pulso de Code of Care to test it and find out our own risk of falling. You step on, y por 60 segundos te quedas lo más quieto posible. And then it gives you a fall score from 1 to 10. 10 means you're solid, firme. 3 or lower, alto riesgo y ugh, ya casi vas para el suelo. And yeah, someone in our group did get a 3. But nobody walked away scared, we walked away informed. We should all know our fall score. Porque esto pasa mientras te bañas, cocinas, o simplemente vas por las chanclas. Y para alguien mayor, una caída puede salir muy cara. Thanks, Zibrio, for reminding us that health starts with knowing where you stand. Then it was off to the lab, where we zoomed in on something much, much smaller. There are 206 bones in the human body, 78 organs, and over 30 trillion cells. A single cheek swab collects thousands of cells from the lining inside your mouth. At Pulso, nos convertimos en verdaderos científicos. Nos pusimos guantes, safety glasses, and a lab coat. Y ahí empezó la ciencia. Swab the cheek, stain the sample, slide it under the lens, focus the microscope, and just like that, a cell. Your own cell, nucleus and everything. The hardest part for many caregivers is not knowing. But this activity reframed that. Not knowing isn't failure, it's the first step towards discovery. When you look at your own cells, you start to realize understanding health starts with curiosity. And that curiosity, it's one of the caregiver's greatest tools. Next up, a hands-on look at the organ that keeps it all going. When's the last time you dissected something? Was it a frog, a rat, a big juicy cow eyeball, or did you literally skin a cat? Yeah, some people got cats. At Pulso the Code of Care, we brought that moment back. We invited Dr. Carlos Encarnacion, a cardiothoracic surgeon, to lead a heart dissection lab. Not for students, pero para nosotros. Shout out to the Health Museum. They helped us give every guest their own sheep heart. So we didn't just learn about the heart. Lo tuvimos en las manos, lo abrimos, lo sentimos, y pues lo olimos. <laughs> you remember that smell, that sharp, unforgettable whiff of formaldehyde? Some powered through it, but honestly, half the room tapped out and found a different activity. Pero muchos por primera vez hicieron preguntas súper importantes sobre su salud, la de su mamá, su papá, o pues alguien que aman. Like Dr. Encarnacion said, you can talk about heart health all day, but when somebody holds it in their hand, it just changes how they understand it. Heart disease is one of the biggest threats to our community, and too many of us don't even know we're at risk. Amigos, next time you see your loved ones, ask about their corazón. And just when we thought we'd seen it all, we hooked up a headset and watched our brains in real time. Your brain runs on electricity. Every thought, emotion, and memory sends tiny pulses through your neurons, forming brain waves. At Pulso, guests got to see those waves in real time, thanks to the Muse 2, a lightweight headband that reads your brain's electrical activity and sends it straight to a tablet. Guided by a licensed therapist, guests watched five of the brain's main wave patterns unfold in real time. Gamma, the fastest wave, tied to learning, problem solving, and sudden insight. Beta, focused and alert, but when it spikes, that's your stress talking. Alpha, a calmer, alert state, like when you're fully present but not stressed. Theta, the dreamy state, connected to creativity, memory, and deep meditation. Delta, the slowest wave, linked to deep sleep and physical restoration. The more your mind settled, through breath work, stillness, even music, the more the wave slowed down. For many, it was their first time seeing what peace looked like. Because stress can be invisible, exhaustion hides behind smiles, but brainwaves, they don't lie. This was a mirror for the mind. And for anybody in a caregiving role, that matters. Because when you understand your own brain, you're better equipped to care for someone else's. And finally, something that doesn't need data to prove it works. Musica. Sana, sana, colita de rana, si no se alivia hoy, se alivia mañana. If you grew up as a Latino kid, you remember that, right? I don't know if that frog ever healed anybody, but it sure was memorable. And speaking of memory, meet Mariachi Sana Sana, a youth mariachi group using music to reach people living with Alzheimer's and dementia. Research shows that music can activate memory centers in the brain, even when other functions have declined. It's one of the few things that can light up multiple regions of the brain at once, including areas tied to emotion, movement, and long-term memory. 
For caregivers, it's not always about big solutions. Sometimes it's a simple song, a familiar voice, a lyric that lands just right and reminds us that sometimes music can reach places medicine just can't. Uh, soy Roselia and I'm an entrepreneur. Cuando estaba haciendo una, una de las actividades donde te conectan with your, que puedes leer your brainwaves, el mariachi que estaba ahí estaba tocando una canción y la señora que estaba haciendo el, el reading, she's like, oh, you're very grounded. Y le dije, es porque esta canción que, que está tocando el mariachi fue, es una de las canciones que me gustaba mucho cuando yo estaba chiquita. Y luego cuando el mariachi presentó, <risa> dijeron que la música nos ayuda mucho a relajarnos. Entonces eso es lo que... Ya sabía, pero me, me volví a acordar de cómo la música nos regula y regula el pulso del corazón. My name is Dr. Beverly Gore. I'm a retired public health consultant. One of the things that AARP does want to promote is the use of technology, not only for elderly, but for everybody, to really inc uh, close that digital divide. I really feel like this event, sponsored by AARP, has been very unique. Usually we focus on uh, the elderly, the people over 50, but this has been a wonderful way to bridge between the older and the younger generation and really uh, encourage young people to get more into STEM as well as perhaps to help the community with those skills. I like to learn about the new technologies to do health assessments like balance and also how to use some of those technologies to help with diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. This is phenomenal. I really enjoyed it. Pulso is a testament to what happens when you combine creativity, innovation, and when you blend completely different fields together to give the community an opportunity to interact here in the medical center around the topic of health tech, but to do it in a way that it's cultura, it's, it's literally corazón, and like what does your corazón do, right? It pulses, and so it, this is like the beat, the beat of our community and when you embrace that as you're creating new things this is what happens this is the type of stuff that gets born to be honest some of our guests didn't know exactly what to expect just that it mattered and it did what they found was a space that didn't just inform it transformed and now we're inviting you to do the same go to aarp.org forward slash caregiving to explore free resources built for your journey wherever you are on the path Follow Tech 23 to see how we're turning STEM into stories that stick through moments like this. And if you know somebody caring for a loved one right now, share the video. Someone out there is figuring it out all alone. Be the reason they don't have to.